Hello everybody, it's Joel and Tim from Silver Arrow Cars, and we're here with another no reserve auction. This is our 1972 MGB GT, powered by its original 1.8 liter carbureted inline four with a four speed manual transmission. And normally we wouldn't do MGBs, so I think we've had one ever in all of our sales and so far on bring a trailer we're somewhere in the neighborhood of 175. normally we handle porsche mercedes ferrari etc um, but we made an exception for this one a uh, local guy here bought this car out of california um, and bought it as a california car you would imagine would be so very good condition old paint uh, very light surfacey California type corrosion to it, no rust, didn't have cancer, none of the rest. Brought it home, uh, he's a bit nuts, and went absolutely berserk and did everything you could possibly do. The only thing he wanted to point out and tell us about was that technically it's not a rotisserie restoration as he did not actually have it on a rotisserie. Everything else he did, saved no expense, probably put way too much money into it, never gonna get it back but he loves it and he loves old mgs so i'm going to walk you around the car and show you all the little bits that he's done but he has not left a stone unturned everything he either replaced or refinished he can't remember the name of it but he had the fenders off he did all the cowling and the inner fenders all with a uh, a sealant paint so that you're never going to have the typical uh, rusted out rockers and uh, inner fenders. Um, the car, car was entirely repainted. Chrome was replaced. He The only thing that doesn't really original is he went with an earlier grill as it's a better looking grill and I agree with him. Uh, everything else has been done. It's really, really impressive. The underside's all been repainted black. The entire exterior was all repainted in its original Harvest Gold color. Uh, the engine was completely disassembled, bored 30 over. Uh, and new, pretty much new everything rebuilding the engine, which you'll see in the engine bay. He did everything as he believes to be correct as far as wire looming and what sheath was used on the wiring. Um, what else? It just absolutely to the nth degree. So let's walk you around and show you just how good a job he did, how impressive this car is. And much like other stuff in this category, there is no chance you could buy one of these and take it to a shop and have all this done for likely what you're going to pay for this car. So let's get to it. Starting with the front, this is an earlier generation grill. I do not know how many years earlier of an MG it's from, probably pre-1970, and I guarantee that you will correct me in the comments, and I encourage you to do so. Uh, everything was either re-chromed or replaced, and you'll see everything appears as new. Since he completed the restoration in 2016, um, he's put on, I think, five to 6,000 miles, so not really a whole ton. And most of it was done up here in the Pacific Northwest, which is it's not as good as California, but it's the next best thing for preserving cars. Um, everything is dead straight down the side of the car. All the trim is gonna be next to perfect. All the lens, I think he told me a story that his great uncle or uncle worked at the factory that produced all of the uh, acrylics for um, running lights and turn signals and all the rest. And so we wanted to replace them with original OEM spec stuff. So that's all been done. The attention to detail under the hood, very impressive. All the paint, uh, the masking, wiring as he was explaining to me all this the tape used and all the wiring is correct in color and style went to the extent of labeling and stickering everything with original style stickers rebuilt the carburetors again board 30 over new water pump new oil pump uh, valve seals um everything I think he rebuilt and went with a, a slightly larger alternator, if I'm remembering correctly. But just look how tidy and impressive this is. Again, 
if we were having to do this to any of the cars that we restore um, the bill would be astronomical so moving along everything he used was was stainless for bolts and fasteners car drives really really nicely I took it out for into the country for our photo session no weird rattles doesn't feel like the things coming apart on you he said he'd like the look of the uh, silver painted wheels rather than chroming them but it does have those MG knockoffs bit of a marker scratch there but again I tend to get a little repetitive on these videos but all the chrome all the glass is original except for windshield and one of the side windows that he broke uh, I think on the road or locked his keys in the car getting into the door jams exactly what you'd expect to see door panels handles the plastics all really really nice window operation is great quarter windows work as the way they're supposed to he had the seats completely rebuilt that's all new interior uh, but he did new foam and backing so the seats feel as though they are brand new not just recovered old worn out seats he spent the extra cash on a non-oem steering wheel just because he loves them and it's classic for the era but I didn't know and maybe some of you didn't know that these were designed by Pin and Farina and I believe Road and Track named the design one of the most beautiful designs that wasn't a Ferrari all the switches the lights vents fan everything works exactly the way it's supposed to as I've said over and over no stone left unturned everything worked they used the car they've got a couple more classics and they drive them routinely getting into the back a lot of his documentation he did the thing or he did the car uh, with the plan to keep it forever so this is six years after his completion of uh, his restoration in 12 years 12 years after his complete or purchase of the car from California all new carpets you can just see all those fasteners screw heads everything is immaculate the underside of the car you'll see the photos it looks incredible he did note there was no replacement of any of the floor pans or bottom of the car fitted stainless steel exhaust to it everything is very tight as well doors hinges for the rear seals everything car fires up right away idles really nicely has a nice pull to it I'd say the only thing if you wanted to do anything to this car would maybe buy an overdrive transmission but I've cruised it down the road and we'll certainly have a driving video for you and documenting all of that really really impressive and everybody that's come into our shop has said the same thing people that never would have expected to even look twice at one of these little guys they've asked if they could buy it so again we're selling this no reserve on bring a trailer out of Washington State for shipping we can handle all that for you just ask 
It'll be on an Ohio or Washington state title. Depends how we export it. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I can. Nice fitment of the hood. So please, if you have any questions, you want to see any nook and cranny on the car, please reach out to us and ask us. Find us on the web, silverarrowcars.com. Use the contact seller button. Anything you'd like to do to get in touch. Good luck. And excited to talk to whoever puts this classic into their garage.